In the last lesson, we introduced the concept of DAX and this data analysis expressions and, and what we can do with it. We talked about uh, mainly we use it for two things. One is to add new columns and enhance tables within our BISM model. And the second is to create calculated measures. Let's take a look at that first case. So where we just want to use DAX expressions to pull in additional column data into our model. So what we're going to do is uh, move around the way our model is working in this Contoso retail data model. So currently we have a data model that has a product dimension and it has a product category and a product subcategory dimension or tables. And uh, what, what, what I'm going to do is is really look at this category and subcategory. and in this case, you know, I, I have these tables or dimensions, and most of the information here really isn't that interesting. The, the thing that is interesting to me to expose to users is the product category name field here. So I can do something like this. But my users have to kind of go into this extra dimension just to find this here. And, and what I'm going to do is, is make it a little bit easier for them and just bring that description right in here into the product uh, table. And that's going to do a couple things. It'll make it a little more simple. And then later on, when we look at hierarchies, it will make building hierarchies possible. So we won't deal with that today. But let's just uh, look at how to do this. So let me get that back out of my query. And I'm going to go to the Power Pivot window. And here is where I have all of the tables in the data model. So you notice I have this product category and subcategory. Um, I really don't want to show that to my users anymore. So if I right click on this, I can just say hide this from client tools. So the table's still in my data model. I'm going to do the same with subcategory. I'll hide from the data model. And then because I made any change here, when I go back to Excel, I'll get this button that says it's been changed. Do you want to refresh? And I'll say yes. So you notice those two, uh, those two dimensions just dropped out. And I no longer have a product category or subcategory. So let's go put them back in to the model, but this time we're going to put them into the product table using DAX expressions. So I'm going to add a column, and what I want this column to be is my product category column. And I'll just call it that. Okay, there's nothing in it, so let's go ahead and add an expression. So I'm going to use a pretty simple expression that we have in, uh, in DAX, and that's related. So related says, go and get the column that's related to this column. And remember when we looked at the basic structure of an expression, we specify a column by first giving the table name. So I just hit the single quote character there, and it's, it's prompting me with the tables that are there. And if I go and find the product category table, and then scroll down, I find the product category name. Remember, that was the, the column I want to bring in. And then I can close that related function call. And when I hit the Enter key, what's going to happen is it's going to update and go into the other table and copy in, basically, the data that it finds related to the current row. So every time we refresh this data model, it's going to go in and, and basically do, in, in a sense, kind of a subquery to pull that information in so that that category description is right here in this table now. Now, as I refresh the data model, I don't have to do anything special. It's just going to happen. And this is going to make this much easier for the user. So if I go back to Excel, click Refresh, I notice the product category dimension is still gone, but I now have product category right within the product dimension. So much easier for the users. Now here's the caveat to this. That related function, it, can, it, it must have a, an actual relationship. And when we pulled this data model together, we did establish that we had a relationship from product to product subcategory and from product subcategory to category. So by pulling in the related product description, what actually happened is the expression caused the DAX engine to say, all right, I'm in the product table. And in order to get to, to product category, I need to go to subcategory and then from subcategory to category. So there, was a, there were a couple jumps that took place there. So just keep in mind, if, if you try to do a related table and you don't actually have a relationship, you will get an error. It will not work. And, and if that happens, just remember, oh, let me go back to manage relationships and make sure I have that kind of a relationship. So let's uh, do that one more time, and this time we'll go product 
subcategory. I'll name the field there. And you don't have to name the field first. You can put the formula in first. I always put the title in first because I typically forget to um, put the title in if I don't do it first, but that's just a me thing. So my formula is, again, going to be related, and this time it's going to be the product uh, subcategory. So if I go find the subcategory description that I want, that will pull in the product subcategory. So as I scroll down, I can see that all of those subcategories that have been entered in, and you guessed it, if we go back to the model, it will prompt us that we made a change. And now my subcategory is here. So if I add product category and then subcategory, I get this nice breakdown. So very simple. Um, uh, these are very easy to add. It's very quick. You can see the results are uh, quite instantaneous. And again, that is using the related uh, function, which is a very basic and easy to use DAX expression, one that's kind of fun to get started with.